what is the problem that exists right now in the world which may be segmented by region that requires an architectural solution in oh. terms of building size, in terms of changing the way we think about, about living space? Well, I think that that it depends on where you're talking about because the world is a big place. It's getting smaller because of globalization and so on. But um, I know you're interested in China, and uh, you know we are studying what's happening in China quite a bit. And one of the very, very big phenomena that is happening in China, which has already happened in the United States, which is why there's a big difference, uh, is the urbanization of the country. China has gone, since its founding in 1949, it's gone, gone from, at that time it was an almost entirely rural uh, society. More than 80% of the people lived in the countryside. But we know that developed countries have 75 or 80% of the people living in the cities. So this is, what's, this is what's happening. China is going to do in about 25 years what it took the United States to do in about 200 years. The move from the countryside to the city. And so this is um, uh, the source, of course, of great dislocation, as you can imagine. It's the source of great you know, social problems and so on. And I think that this is a problem that is looking for you know, uh, you know, really forward-looking architectural solutions as well. With the numbers of people that we're talking about, we have a combination of rural to urban migration at the same time that we have a significant population growth concentration in different parts of the world. How can this be resolved architecturally, and is the vertical cities concept feasible as part of that solution, or even, or even as conceptually as sort of something to be thinking towards? Well, I think this. I think that. Um there's no doubt that to, uh, as the population is also growing, uh, in most countries anyway, um, that inevitably the only answer to this problem, because the land is, has a limit, physical limit, will be to go up. If you talk about the vertical city, the vertical city is one proposal. It's uh, and it's a way to try to bring livability to the verticality. Because one of the problems that we see in a lot of cities is that just by building vertically, uh, you get higher density, but you don't have necessarily a more livable kind of a city. So I think that all architects are, are wrestling with this particular problem. How do you do it? And um, uh, the vertical city is, uh, I, I think it's, it's a, it's, a, uh, uh, it's a very provocative kind of a solution, but it needs to be considered as one of the solutions.